Well, many of us are still stuffed from Turkey Day, but there's another wild animal on the minds of hundreds of thousands of Ohioans. Deer gun season here in the Buckeye State kicked off today, expected to draw about 420,000 hunters this year. News Channel 5's Kristen Volk live in our newsroom. Kristen, this is a big week, but not just for deer hunters, right? That's right. Also a big week for big week for meat processors who are preparing to take in all this meat from hunters and package it all up. And I have to tell you, Chris, it's not an easy job. Tis the season for Brian Foster and his team to be processing. There's no rest for me. This is nonstop. Almost 10 tons of deer meat. You're basically putting you know, 12, 14, 16 hour days in. And today is the kickoff as Ohio's deer hunting season begins. We have a perfect opening day weather wise, which is one of the biggest factors in how successful hunting is. Jamie Emmert of the Ohio Division of Wildlife says more than 420,000 hunters are expected to participate this season, which runs today through Sunday. There's also a bonus weekend December 15th through the 16th. We have a very healthy, stable, sustainable population of white tail deer in Ohio. A healthy population is good news for Foster, who operates his business out of his home garage on Cleveland's west side. I think it's going to be a real good week. Together, these guys will skin, cut, process, and package one deer in just a few hours. It's very important to, for the health of both humans and deer to, uh, to provide hunting opportunities. It keeps the population in check, keeping deer healthy, reducing conflicts with humans. Conflicts like this. When a deer smashed through a driver's windshield in Lorain County earlier this month, killing the man instantly. Brian's deer cutting service expects to process about 300 deer total this season, but not every animal goes back to its owner. We usually ask everybody that comes in if they want to donate something. Foster and his team donate any extra meat to the hungry, keeping the spirit of the holiday season in mind. If you'd like more information about how to donate meat, you can go to our website, newsnet5.com. More information will be there. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.